Hey there, welcome to Unilunch in 5 Beginner Tutorials. Um, so in the last episode, you should see the link around here. In the last episode, we worked on the um, creating different uh, textures, blending different textures and combining them together into the base color, which I got rid <laughs> all, all of them because we don't really need them. In this lesson though, we are going to add a normal map in our material. So we're not going to use emissive color as I had explained to you. That's really uh, is a is a really basic thing to do. So normal map. Um, I've already had some normal maps in the scene in the sorry content folder. You can go ahead and create one for yourself. But usually the texture that you have uh, the normal map should uh, replicate what is inside this texture. But in this case, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use this different normal map. So, I'm just just to show you how it looks like in the scene. Okay. As you remember, this is the tiling thing that we had already written. Okay, so as you can see, it gave us a little bit of depth in the material. It made it a little bit more realistic. Um, so this isn't the main thing I want to talk about. The main thing I want to talk about in this lesson, though, is... So if you look at... I mean, there's this normal map and there is height map. Height map is just as uh, similar to what a alpha mask is it contains a value from 0 to 1 which um, 0 is like the less uh, high value in the texture and 1 uh, could be like the most high value in the scene so what we could do we could control C control V and uh, copy this one right click there's a node called um, normal uh, map from height map so this isn't a height map I'm pretty sure that uh, but we could use it as a height map but you can't just hook this one into here you need to right click on this one and convert it to a texture object we have a texture object we have a uh, texture sample we can't use, use texture sample on this one so uh, we are going to use this one and for the normal map intensity let's create a scanner parameter normal intensity which is default by one okay so let's see nothing happens really So the value is probably really low. So we have two problems here. The value was really low and the tiling isn't correct. To fix the tiling, we have something called coordinates in here. It's V2, which is exactly what we have here. As uh, I had already explained to you, we have X and Y, and then we append these two together, and we have a value that we could use it here. Easy. Okay, so now is the time to change intensity. So you can go really, really crazy, but the illusion breaks after some point. So maybe, I mean, this should work just fine. I mean, I'm not pretty happy with it though, to be honest. I mean, I'd rather go ahead in Substance Designer or Photoshop and create a uh, normal map from this texture myself. But this is pretty satisfying, it's pretty convincing to me. So I'd, I'd say we achieved it. This is the node that you're going to use, normal map from height map, and um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next lesson.